At ease, man, at ease. Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ. Bless. I'm going to offer some Michael with Israel United in Christ. Hey, bro, I got I to gotta ask you something. So you know you're an Israelite, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Please ask these 12 and 13. This is what you I'm need. Like, this is Your complexion don't matter, man. It's your bloodline. It's your lineage. That don't matter. Watch this. I understand you're trying to be funny, but us in America, our captivity, that's not funny. Bring it out. That's what we're about to teach our people. But this is, our, this is what we need you to know before you walk away. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, fear God, and keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Do you understand what the fear of the Lord means? I mean, what it means to fear God. Uh, that, that old second statement was keep his commandments. If you're not, if you're not keeping his commandments, you fear, you're not fearing them. All praises. So you understand that. So you understand the commandment of keeping your fringes. Hey, bro. You understand the commandment of getting married to one woman, right? I get that. No laying around, bro. I know. Don't make yeah. a whore out of your sisters. I know. Make an honest woman out of one sister. That's right. I know. Right? That's, That's right. how you love your nation. By being it. a husband to the mother of your children. Right. A stable household starts in a stable nation starts in the household. You understand that, right? That's why we out here messed up. That's why I feel bad about what it is. You feel bad, so what you gotta do, bro? I'm what's the whole duty of man? No, what's the whole duty of man? I gotta get it correct and I gotta make it happen. And you gotta repent. I mean, Acts 3 and 19. Repenting. You repent. Yes, I am. Right, we gonna, like, we gonna, like, matter of fact, give me first king. We're gonna show you how to repent. First Kings Thank chapter 8. We're gonna show you how to repent, okay? A lot of our people don't know this. No, we're gonna show you why people don't know this. So this is how you repent, okay? Read. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, have you sinned against the Lord? All right. Dude. For there is no man that sinneth not. All of us have sinned, bro. All of us have sinned. Read. And thou be angry with them. The Lord be, our Lord be angry with us. And deliver them to the enemy. And deliver us to the enemy. Look at that. I want you to look at, look at that sound there. Did this not happen to our people? The Lord said the people that did that to us. Our, our enemies, who were delivered to our enemies because we kindled the Lord's wrath. Come on. I'm not sure, I so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemies. Right here in America, come on. Far or near. Is this is this land America not far from the west coast of Africa? Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, you, if you bethink yourself, come on, in the land, whether they were carried captives right here in America where we were carried captive, come on. And repent. And do what? And repent. And repent. Read. And make supplication unto thee. What's that supplication? Tell the Lord, forgive me, Father. I've seen I've transgressed your laws. Read. Right here in America. Right here in America. Come on. In the land of them that carried them captives. Say, we have sinned. Saying what? We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. The Lord said, we have done perversely. We committed wickedness. So that's how you repent. Telling the Lord that you forgive him for your sins and turn away from those things. So no more sleeping around, bro. No more sleeping around, because you got to understand. You know, how, you know how we continue to do that? You know how we continue to do that? Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, start at verse 11. Bring it up. This, is, this is why we can continue. This is why people today, our people, continue in sin. I'm going to show you that says the Lord in the Bible. And as far as age, that don't matter because you would think age will come with wisdom. But older brothers are still doing ignorant, childish things. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily you were sleeping around with sisters and you weren't married them. there was a law against that during moses time being that, that the sentence of uh the that law was broken you weren't sentenced speedily watch this what happened therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them so when you slept with that first sister and had a baby and didn't get married and you want to put to death for that thing? You was like, damn, I got away with sleep with her. I'm going to have another baby mama. You ain't get in trouble for that. I'm going to have another baby mama. 
evil is continually going because judgment wasn't executed in your life speedy. Right. So we continue to be evil. We continue on our sin. Right. Read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So the Lord says, therefore, the sin, the evil in our, in our hearts, which is talking about our mind, is continuing in, in us to set for us to do evil. So what is that evil in our mind? Mark 7 and 21. What is this evil that we have going on in our mind continually? Because the Bible says that our mind is desperately wicked. Who can know it? So watch it. This is what's in our head. This is why we continue to do evil. Read. Mark chapter 7 verse 21. This is in the minds of men. I'm going to get your question, sister, all right? Read. For from within, mm -hmm. out of the heart of men. Now you know your heart isn't a thinking organism. Your mind is a thinking organism. It organism. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men. Out of your minds, talking about our men and women. Read. Proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Read. Adulteries. Adulteries. Fornications. Fornications. Well, you not fornicate with those three sisters that you didn't marry that you got pregnant? That's, what it is. That's fornication. Read. Murders. Murder. Thefts. Thefts. Covetousness. Uh -huh. Wickedness. Mm -hmm. Deceit. Read. Lasciviousness. Mm -hmm. An evil eye. Mm -hmm. Blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Pride. Foolishness. You became prideful, bro. When you was doing that, that was pride building up in you. Read. All these evil things come from within. Right here. And defile the man. And defiles our body. It defiles us. That's what it's talking about. You know what comes with pride? Give me Proverbs 16 to 23. This is what happened with, with pride. Because how, how you destroy a family, those young men, when they get older, Lord willing, this doesn't happen. The Lord willing, it happen to your sons or your daughters. But when they get older, daddy slept around. I can sleep around. Baby girl might be like, shoot, daddy didn't marry mommy, so I ain't got to get married. You know, our daughters have whores to look up to. Right. The sisters, what she say? Oh, uh, talking crazy in the song. She got a ring when she had to do nothing to get it. Uh, <laughs> Bro, keep the commandments and live. That's right. Keep the commandments and live. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.